Hey everyone, Alex here, and today I'm going to switch things up a bit. So before, I was doing skill reviews mostly on the three classes that I have advanced the most, namely the Necromancer, the Mesmer, and the Monk. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be quite a bit different, and that is I'm going to do a skill review for all you pet lovers out there, and that is the skill Ferocious Strike. And as you can see here, I have my Mesmer. I have a Ranger character, but he's not very advanced. In fact, he's he just started the game. So I have this skill, but it's on a secondary for my Mesmer. But the nice thing about the Ferocious Strike, and frankly, Beast Mastery in general, is that it's not really tied to any primary attributes. So it's very good uh, line to use as a secondary for almost any character. And in this case, I like to use it with my Mesmer. I thought it was a lot of fun and very interesting. So what is Ferocious Strike? Well, Ferocious Strike, for a long time, was the only elite skill for pets in the game uh, for uh, for when Guild Wars was released with Prophecies. That's changed pretty dramatically with two more elite skills that were released for pets, or at least in the Beast Mastery line, with the Factions and Nightfall campaign. But for Prophecies, there's only one, and that's Ferocious Strike. Now, Ferocious Strike is really a skill that does everything. So, so for 5 energy and an 8 second uh, recharge time, your animal companion will attempt a Ferocious Strike that deals, in this case, plus 25 damage. If, the, if that attack hits, you gain Adrenaline and 9 energy. And this is at Beast Mastery 12, which is again the maximum for a secondary line. The nice thing about this skill, again, as I mentioned, it has something for just about everyone. It has a damage increase for DPS. You can gain adrenaline and it gives you back energy. So this is pretty nice as a complement to your energy strategy. Now, for five energy, you're gonna gain back nine energy to a maximum of 10 energy for each ferocious strike now that gives you a net energy benefit of plus four or plus five if you can you take it higher that's pretty nice but it's not enough energy to really feed your character enough to keep things going particularly if you're a casting profession as in this case the mesmer if you're a ranger however is it enough it kind of can be because you can combine ferocious strikes energy gain with your expertise primary attribute which also reduces the energy consumption for your attack skills pet skills things like that so in the case of the ranger it can work but in the case of a primarily with the casting professions it won't be enough it can also work with say a warrior primary because they don't use as much energy and they also get adrenaline now one thing it just says is you gain adrenaline it doesn't say how much frankly it's going to be one it's always going to be one no matter what your beast mastery attribute line how high it is basically so you're always going to get one adrenaline for each each strike so again it's the same question that applies to warriors is that enough to fuel your adrenaline gain with uh, beast mastery own well no of course not but again it's a different mechanic it's based on your warrior hitting a target and gaining uh, adrenaline with each hit this gives you one more strike it speeds it up a bit faster so it does definitely help so that is ferocious strike and how it combines with almost any other class again it has something for for everyone and that's the nice thing about it but primarily it's the big actually not so big uh, there's other skills out there i believe one is scavenger strike that gives quite a lot of energy but this again, it kind of combines three or four different skills into one and goes with your pet. And it's just fun to use. Sometimes having pets is, is, is just awesome. And partic particularly when you have a class that's other than a ranger. Now here I have my Mesmer and I'm up here in, I believe the Gran yeah, Granite Citadel. Yep, Granite Citadel. And I've got points spread out through Beast Mastery, Inspiration, and domination with a few left over in fast casting and primarily it's going to be just kind of a utility build i got a little bit of shutdown 
Again, empathy, always a good skill against melee targets. I got backfire, although I like power drain as well. And I also got bestial pounce. Uh, this is going to be good for shutting down casters. And I have symbiosis because I'm going to be using a lot of uh, enchantments, particularly with my uh, protection monk. So let's uh, take it a roll, take it out of here, and just see how it goes. And that really is about it for the skill. It's again, it's a straightforward skill. It's all about the practice, and of course, comfort animal just to bring the the pet along. Okay, so here we are. We're out in Tasca's demise, in front of the Granite Citadel, and there's a very interesting spawning scenario here. If you look up here, it looks empty, but it's actually not. So we're gonna go far to the left here and you'll see up in my mini map exactly what I'm talking about. It's really it's one of the only spots in the games where I've seen this. Actually I'm gonna just turn off my cape. There you go. Yep, so they all spawned here and now they're all moving out forward as if they're gonna assault the citadel or make grunting noises to it. And there's a pretty large group of Stone Summit here. We got Carvers, we got Nashers, and we got Rangers. Primarily those three. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop my Spirit. That will always help for those of us that have enchantments. Okay. Now one thing to keep in mind is open up your pet window. And here I have my pet Roy, <laughs> my faithful lizard Roy. I actually have a video of when I got this guy. It was way back when. Uh, I think it was called Purple Haze and Roy. So he is now my new pet. And as long as he behaves, he will not be turned into a pair of boots or a coach handbag. And so far, he's done pretty well because he's still here. Can't say that with my bearskin rug, however. All right, so I'm going to keep my folks right here. Grab my bow. Roy on guard mode here. Although he's pretty tanky. He's got 540 health. Pretty nice tank, so he can he can tank. So Alright. We'll grab the carver. There we go. Turn that off. And I'll again start off with a bad misclick there, but it's okay. So we're going to look for any casters. Let me do that in the Ranger. And not too many spell casters right here. Oh, and now we have them. Okay. So I'm going to go through and yep, there's the Nash. Okay, and there was a good interrupt. Again, okay, looking around. We don't see anyone, but we can always spread around. Westerl's demise. There we go. And now we're going to try to use. Well, didn't get a chance to use Feroz to strike there, but this worked out quite well. One thing is that, that this worked out quite well is I was used that. Um, Ward against melee, which is very nice against a lot of melee uh, type of enemies coming up right up to your group. So, so I actually didn't get a chance to use Frozen Strike. Well, let's see if we have any better luck with this next group here. So I'm going to move around here. I know there's another group up here. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna come up here, I've got another group. Drop some Yosis. And here we go. Okay. And there's Frost to Strike. Okay. Not running into too many energy problems now. Again, sometimes it's just good to, to use Ferocious Strike just as a good DPS 
type of strike. Again, it does plus 25 damage, which is pretty good. So don't think of it just as an energy tool. Okay, so another group here. And they're mostly melee so far, so... I got, again, I got kind of two skills, three skills for anti-caster, so... Oh, here we go. There's a Nasher. Backfire. And here comes the Stomp. Yep. Ooh! Let's find a nice... Yeah, there it is. Okay. And backfire doing its thing. Let me chop this group down here. There we go. This ranger. And, there's, and there you saw Ferocious Strike again. It was plus 55 damage on that Ranger. So pretty nice hit with the with the pet. Grab that. And let's go take a look see. I don't think I have a key. I have a lock pit though. 40%. Well, let's see here. And of course it's broken. Figures. Let's see what I get. Another hammer. Okay. I actually have a lot of hammers in my chest. I don't need another one, but oh well. That was a lot of enemies. Holy cow. Let's move over this way. See if we can find a group. Not really had a chance to show the skill really an accent, but it's hard to see because you have to kind of follow the pet and not exactly what you're doing. So let's try to avoid any massive patrols and not fight two patrols at once. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Five ice golems, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to use their own enchantments. So I'm not, I'm not going to use symbiosis on this one. Oh, and we got another group. Looks like they're coming down here. I want to take a look. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to run these two groups together. So and here I can use symbiosis. Because they don't use enchantments. Okay. Go. And is that a... Yep, that's a Dolog Master. So here comes the Stomp. Ah, and there it is again. And there it is again. <laughs> okay, at least we shut down Life Attunement. Okay, and there goes the Dog Master. Good. I think there's one more. Yep. So I'm gonna make sure he targets him. And down he goes. Okay, good. And now it's just these melee characters. Yeah. Annoying stomp. goes uh, okay all right so pretty good result there okay okay I'm not gonna use symbiosis against these ice golems since they like to use water magic let's see if we have a little better luck here Let's 
see it. Knock him down. There you go. Okay, very nice. Yeah, again, my sap's mostly anti-caster with a few anti-melee and hit mostly melee so far, so I have not had a chance to show my anti-caster stuff yet. But that backfire worked quite well. It's going to work quite well with these guys with their ice trident. So, okay. So now we have all three here. Go backfire. Not gonna worry about the herders so much. Okay, yeah. Nope. There you go. And you can see Frost Strike in that window there, so and there it fires off again. Okay. So not a whole lot of energy pressure at this build, so it doesn't really show the energy gain so much. Maybe I can find one more group here and show how it works. But again, you can use this just as a DPS strike. You don't have to use this as a strictly a man uh, think of it as an energy management tool. So let's so grab these guys. Uh, you know, I didn't see these siege elemental or um, ice siege elementals using water attunements. So let's go take a look here. Let's go with this ranger. Yeah, there's quite a lot. Oh, yeah, there's quite a lot of here. Could have been too much. We're doing our own here. Wow, <laughs> I don't believe we actually lived through that. I thought I was going to get crushed, but actually, very good healing on my on my monks. Actually, this is a good video to show the rest of my team how they're well they're doing, but not so much me. <laughs> okay, actually, I think that was good. Uh, good example there, actually, with symbiosis because I have a lot of the. Uh, enchantments going on particularly with Zhao and that gives a very nice health boost if you're using enchantments and they're not so with symbiosis it's 125 health I think per enchantment yeah 125 health for each enchantment so that can stack up pretty quickly okay, and heretics okay good let's, let's just roll with it And that's the thing, you're, you're always cycling through, cycling through a lot of targets. Particularly if you're a Mesmer. Okay. Contra backfire, move on to the next one. There it goes. Pretty, very good so far. So that's the skill Ferocious Strike. And again, it's kind of hard to demonstrate because it's it's hard to see how it really fires off here. Oh, let's see, we got a Dolak -like Master here. Let's try. Okay, very good.
take out this ranger. Okay, that is pretty much how I'm going to show it. So, Ferocious Strike. It's it's hard to demonstrate because it's hard to see exactly when it's in action and exactly when it's useful. Because, again, it, my pet's using it, but I'm not using it directly. But, again, it's one of those things that has something for everyone. And I wasn't under a lot of energy pressure, hardly at all, basically. So that wasn't a, that big of an issue. <laughs> but if I had some more powerful spells casting going on and even with things like backfire uh everything else is pretty cheap here yeah so there was a whole lot of energy pressure i, mean, I can change with my skill bar and show a lot more energy pressure and, and see that plus nine energy being uh, much more of a benefit or in this case a net plus four but that plus 25 damage is still there too and you can use it that way just get a good nice damage spike out of it so, for example, with Bestial Pounds, is plus 17 damage. But, so this one gives a bit more damage. And will knock down someone who's uh, casting a spell. So I'm going to move back to the Citadel here. And that's Ferocious Strike. So, again, it's a good skill to play with. It's a good skill to play with with almost any kind of primary profession that you have if you want to bring a pet along. Now, one thing about the scaling of Beast Mastery. You can scale this down and really you're only going to get plus 9 right at number 12 and that is the highest you're going to go on a secondary. So and that's a pretty expensive to take it up there. So if you're fine with plus 8 you can go down to, let's see how far can you go down to? We can go down to plus, to plus 10. But that gives you a lot more points to work with that you can drop into your other tribute lines like Inspiration, Domination right there. And that is a just a little bit of damage decrease and just one energy decrease. And frankly, that would probably have been better because that would have power, powered up my primary skills here. But again, I'm using uh, Symbiosis, and that would have been affected quite a bit more. Uh, same with Bestial Pounds, but it's particularly with Symbiosis. So when you use Ferocious Strike, if you're going to pop Ferocious Strike and being a pet along, yeah, there's a whole list of skills that can be quite useful for it, not just with pets, but uh, especially nature rituals. And a few other things like Tiger Sphere. Again, I don't have a huge list here on my Mesmer. In my uh, Ranger character, which I'm building up right now, he's going to have a much larger list because that's his primary. But it's a lot of fun. And so if you like pets, if you like having pets, no matter what kind of profession you have, take a look at Ferocious Strike. You don't have to get it immediately, get a concentrate on primary profession. But it's kind of something nice to have in your pocket. And in comparison to the other elite skills, such as Enrage Lunge and a few others, it really is kind of there to help the pet owner rather than just crank up the DPS of the pet itself. So, And that's a pretty nice thing about it. The other one is Heal as One. But again, that's more of a healing type of spell. But your healing monk or your own healing spells and or skills will be probably more effective in that role. But it, for energy management, Ferocious Strike is pretty much the only one that can combine the energy... Uh, benefit as well as a nice uh, strike into it as well and the other one with with the other one I believe again I'm going off memory here I think it's scavenger strike is that in order to get that you need to get a condition on the, on the target before you get the energy so your target has to have a condition bleeding whatever before you get that energy in this case you don't have to it's good against all targets so the nice thing in that demonstration that you saw here is you could use that against ice golems and get the energy Ice Golems are not fleshy. So if you were trying to use the normal skill against anything that's an Ice Golem or a Jade construct or things like that, it's not going to work. You have to have a condition on them. In this case here, uh, this will work against all targets. So that's other one other nice benefit with Ferocious Strike that, again, I didn't point out when I was out in the environment, but that is definitely the case with those uh, Ice Golems. So anyways, I hope you like the skill review. Again, it's a very uh, straightforward skill, and uh, it's 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 worth playing around with. It's worth playing around with. You, you can't really put a whole build around it, especially if it's your secondary. But it's definitely a nice skill to have that um, that can do a lot of things. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave it here and uh, 
have fun with whatever you're doing and enjoy with your pets and i'll talk to you guys later bye bye